What's up guys, Blademaster here bringing you the final, the first game of the finals in the Wolf Flash tournament number 5. The rules and uh, the brackets will be provided either as a comment or in the description or both. Uh, but without further ado, here's for game 1. This is going to be played between Diplomat and uh, Silo from the RTK clan. Diplomat of course is from the best clan in the world, <laughs> Wolf of Remus. Uh, so it's Wolf Diplomat versus RTK Silo. I think Silo is, wasn't yet or isn't yet in the uh, RTK clan as of yet. He's just a, a prospect. They're just uh, you know checking him out. So with the uh, with uh, Diplomat, he's brought the Alans, very very strong faction, extremely strong faction, probably one of the best factions in Total War Attila right now, and definitely a faction worthy of bringing to a finals. He's brought one Germanic hurlers with them. Strange. Uh, he has brought a couple of Agathirsi warriors whom he's kept in the center. He's brought a total of four Sarmatian Warband, which are just brilliant units for their price. Five Sarmatian Warband, actually. And uh, he, since there are no cav restrictions, as is uh, explained in the rules, uh, he has brought a lot of cavalry. He's brought one, two Germanic horsemen, each with a, a single a single gold chevron, one Elite Agathirsi warrior, uh, sorry, Elite Agathirsi cavalry, and uh, four more Germanic horsemen, so a total of six Germanic horsemen and one Elite Agathirsi warrior. So, it, despite, I mean, there, there being no cab restrictions, he still picked a pretty balanced, you know, relatively balanced army. Meanwhile, Silo has gone with the Ostrogoths. Uh, he has picked a total of four Germanic horsemen and uh, six Germanic horsemen, is it? Yeah, six Germanic horsemen. So he's only he's basically overloaded one flank right from the start. He's also got one Royal Royal Sionis general with a triple gold chevron, which means they're actually going to be a pretty potent force. Excellent health for these guys and excellent melee attack too. Uh, do they have the spear? Let's see if they have excellent attack. No, I think they probably have the sword. Probably have yeah, they're they're a sword wielding unit. Yep. So they are much better against infantry than cavalry. They do not have any bonus for his cavalry. But here, let's put this in slow motion and let's see what's going to, going to happen. The Sarme, uh, Germanic horse are going to uh, charge up against uh, the other Germanic horse. Meanwhile, Diplomat is pulling back with two of his Germanic horsemen over here. Very smart. Uh, meanwhile, the four um, uh, Germanic archers for uh, Silo are going to be firing into the Sarmatian warband and the uh, Agathirsi. Where the Agathirsi? The, the Agathirsi would die if they were under fire from Germanic um, uh, archers, but there they are, they're not going to be under fire from Germanic archers at all. They're actually going to support the cavalry battle right from the start. And now, wow, this is this is an excellent move here by Diplomat. He's moved in the gap with one of his Germanic horsemen, and he's also going to follow up with Agathirsi warriors. Meanwhile, the Sarmatian warband would, would actually destroy the uh, Germanic pikes. These are not elite Ostrogoths. Meanwhile, uh, Germanic horsemen over here are going to charge into much more, uh, much less XP um, or XP up. Germanic horsemen for uh, Silo. So all across the board, it definitely looks like um, Diplomat is going to be able to win the uh, cavalry battle and the flank battle. Got into the Thracian warriors as well. Uh, the Thracian warriors would actually be a very, very good force here. But he is managing to get a nice flank charge with his Agathirsi warriors onto uh, the uh, Thracian warriors who are much more expensive, I think. Yeah, they are. They're probably more expensive. Um, yeah, but yeah, the Thracian warriors are going to get slaughtered here and here, which is huge because uh, on top of the Agathirsi that's already supporting the cavalry battle, it just means that this cavalry flank that uh, Silo wanted to overload right from the start is going to uh, is going to be destroyed very very soon. Very well played by Diplomat in that engagement. Over here, um, again, I think Sarmatian Warband were a bit late to the party here. The Th Thracian warriors managed to get some kills, I bet, on the Germanic horsemen, but the, it's not they're not too late to the party, I guess. Uh, Sarmatian Warband getting destroyed by Germanic pikes. Again, these are, actually, I thought that they'd be able to uh, d defeat them, but no. The Germanic pikes are not spread too thin. I think they're, they're around two, two, no, two, yeah, two ranks deep, so that means they'd probably be able to do pretty decently. Again, Sarmatian Warband, if you take a look at their stats, their melee defense is very poor. So that's why they'd probably die very quickly. But the uh, cavalry flank has been mopped up so quickly by Diplomat that he's able to rear charge these Germanic pikes. And now the Royal Sionis General is forced to intercept. And uh, that means they're going to be in contact with the Sarmatian Warband. And with that 57 melee attack, they'd probably be able to do a ton of HP damage at the very least very, very quickly. Here, Thracian Warriors, uh, smartly, Silo has put Unbreakable on them. Uh, so they are going to be fighting to the last man. They've taken, they've gotten 97 kills, but the Elite Agathirsi have made short work of them. This this cavalry, that cavalry flank has gone very well for Diplomat. Here, the Thracian Warriors would probably do pretty decently against the Sarmatian Warband. You can see they're taking a lot of casualties. Um, but in general, again, it looks like uh, Diplomat has an extra Germanic Horseman left, uh, although this Germanic Horseman for um, Silo is back and ready to engage. But the Royal Sionis General here is trying to take some casualties. Meanwhile, uh, the uh, General for Diplomat is uh, fighting up against some 
uh, some uh, Thracian warriors, it looks like, and he's actually taken a ton of casualties. I think uh, the Thracian warriors probably got a pretty decent charge on them. Yeah, 87 kills on them, so I think the Germanic nobles probably got charged at by Thracian warriors. They'd never be able to stand up to something like that. But in general, I think it looks like Diplomat would be able to take this uh, take this game. The pike box, sorry, the pike line has already been um, uh, destroyed, or some of it has been destroyed, ba basically disrupted by uh, Diplomat. And uh, the Royal Savannah General is slowly starting to take some more casualties. Meanwhile, the, the, he um, Diplomat has some more Germanic horsemen that he'd be able to engage onto these uh, Germanic archers, who haven't actually done too much. It's kind of a, a recurring theme these days. The Germanic archers don't seem to be able to do too much, unless you, you, you kite back with them a couple of times and let them uh, you know, get at least three to four volleys before the game starts. I don't think they'd be able to do too much damage. But here, Germanic nobles are uh, taking some uh, flaming shots right to the face from those Germanic archers. That's going to hurt. On top of their low HP, which they probably got from uh, fighting those Thracian warriors and that pike combo. But wow, yeah. Uh, Germanic nobles took a great volley uh, and uh, basically got slaughtered by the Germanic archers before they got rear charged by Germanic horsemen. This looks very, very close, to be honest. But the, uh, and, and because the Royal Siren is because, just simply because they're so strong uh, with the triple gold chevron, they're able to uh, withstand this onslaught from the Germanic horsemen and the uh, Sarmatian warband without taking too many casualties. So, but actually, yeah, it's it's basically done. Uh, the Royal Savannah General did decently, but you know, it's at the end of the day not not good enough because the cavalry flanks just got wiped out um, very very quickly by Diplomat. So very well played to Diplomat. Uh, 42 seconds left in this game. Let's just go ahead and fast forward because everyone's wavering. Uh, the general is basically alive, but that's that's about it. He's uh, Diplomat's got too many units left. Sarmatian Warband here. Um, yeah, and that's it. Pretty quickly to Diplomat, and that's the end of game one. This is the best of three, so uh, uh, Silo has a chance to uh, bring it back. But let's take a look at the stats for now. The uh, Sarmatian Warband did quite decently, to be honest. I thought that some of them just got slaughtered by the pikes, but uh, all in all, it looks like they did very well. 122, 103, 96, 181, 145, very well done. And the uh, Agathirsi Warriors, they are a key to uh, using Alans effectively, and uh, Diplomat definitely used them very effectively in this game. He also used his Germanic Horseman pretty well, and the, that move with uh, bringing two of his Germanic Horsemen behind and then charging into the Thracian Warriors was pretty key to his victory. Despite all that, the Thracian Warriors did pretty decently for Silo, uh, and the Elite, I completely forgot to pay attention to the Elite Agathirsi Cavalry, I'm sorry, but uh, they seem to have done a very good job as well. Germanic Horsemen for Silo didn't do too much. The uh, Germanic Archers at the end of the day, some of them did pretty uh, decent amount of damage, but one of them was kind of underwhelming. Anyways guys, that's the end of uh, Game 1. Stay tuned for Game 2 and possibly Game 3. Peace.